I don't want to hear that song, do you? I don't want to hear that song, do you? You gotta scream a whole lot louder than that. I don't want to hear that song,
You know, something uh, really from the bottom of my heart. Everything that I say to every crowd that I'm in front of, I try to make sure that I say something or play something or sing something that's enough, in my opinion, to just inspire one person. If one person is in this audience right now that leaves out of here inspired, then I feel like I'm going to sleep really well tonight knowing that. You know, here's what y'all have done for us, and here's what the audiences do for us on a nightly basis. Y'all allow us the opportunity to have this musical therapy session. Yeah. You, you are the springboard for helping us play through a lot of the things that we're going through in our lives personally, yeah. that we're going through from being out on the road, shopping, and fucked up gas stations and shit like that. And just being, a lot of them are away from their families for quite some time. I'm really yes. lucky because I have the fortunate opportunity to be out on tour and in on the road doing this with my lovely wife. So yeah. I have And more than my wife, but I'm gonna get to him in a minute, but. It's uh, it's 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 uh, it's a lot, man, and and to see the many different races and creeds and colors all in this room at one time having yeah. no problems, and this is a beautiful thing to see. That is very possible for this to happen in this room right now. We're all all right. We're all on one accord, but outside of Outside of those doors is a very, very fucked up world out there, man. Yeah. It's a very fucked up world. And what I try to do for the 90 plus minutes that I play, I try to take your minds off all the fucked up shit that you're dealing with out there. And in hopes that you take a little bit of what we encountered here tonight out there back with you, man. And if one by one we could do that, then maybe we have a fighting chance in this fucked up world out there, man. All right. Every day is a journey, every day is a struggle, every day is an effort, man, and I'm giving it everything that I got every single day, yeah. every single moment that I can, and uh, giving up is not an option. Going forward and keeping going forward to try to see what the end is going to be, that's what my mom and dad always told me, rest their soul, they said, son, you have to keep trudging on, otherwise you will never ever see what the end is going to be. So you have to keep pushing forward, even in the face of adversity, even in the face of the system went out, we never went nowhere, we stayed, and we finished out the yeah. fucking show just like we supposed to. Hey, thank you, man. It's not only me up here, it's my team, and, and, and uh, Frankly, honest with you, we're pretty beat up, man. It's all it's going on two months. We've been out on the road pretty straight. This is what we do, but we're not saying that we're not tired. And I forgot I need to buy some fucking oxygen when I got to this motherfucker. <laughs> I've been short of breath all goddamn day. Wait a minute. Fuck man. But nonetheless, it's fucking beautiful here in Colorado, man. 
And I promise you guys, it won't be so long before I come back and see y'all again. Thank you so much. As soon as I get out the stage, I'm moving right over there to the merchandise area. Y'all give it up for Orlando Thompson on the bass guitar. Once again, for Jonathan Levin on the keyboards over there. Give it up, give it up. Back on the drums, that's ball here, Nicholas Hayes. Give it up for Nick Hayes. And one more time, man, I'm not out here by myself. I'm here, I'm the king, and I got my queen out here with me. Y'all get up. Well, I'm getting to it, I'm getting to it. So, when we first started out bringing him out, and he's been coming out with us shortly after he's been born. But he used to sit quietly in the back and he didn't come out till I called for him. But damn it, he's been making himself known way before his time. Yeah. So I want to introduce y'all to, I thought it was about me, but it's not about me. This is the fucking star. Yeah. And rightfully so, he's a badass. And let me introduce y'all to the newest member of Team EG. Check it out. Wait one second. Yeah. His name, his name is Crown. I named, we named him after. Hold on, he's he's telling me. I normally ask him a question during this time. Did you have a good time? Oh yeah, a great time. Baby Jiggle. So yes, he has a little jean jacket. He's matching his mom in the back. She's wearing the same thing. And uh, he has a little ponytail up top like me. And uh, yeah, yeah he, uh, he keeps us sane. And uh, this is a beautiful addition to the family. He's seven months old. He's a teacup poodle. He will not get any bigger than this. But in his mind, he's a big fucking lion. Yeah. And uh, he runs all of us. And he is the man. So Denver, Colorado, say hello to Crown. Just really just made my night be so fucking amazing, man. We've been out here on tour with Buddy Guy and Kenny Wayne Shepherd yeah. and uh, doing shows of my own. And I don't know if y'all, uh, anybody out there on any of my socials, but yes, it is yeah. true. I finally got the fucking phone call from Eric Clapton to come to play yeah. Crossroads this year. Marcus, Marcus, that I said this, and you can take this to the bank. Eric Gales is having a conversation with management and my booking agent and Live Nation to make sure I bring my ass back here to Denver, Colorado. Really, really soon. I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I'll see you at the nurse table. My name is Eric Gales. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 